Hey guys, it's episode 257. If you hear any noises in the background, uh, it's raining outside. So, yeah, um, so that's why there's noises. Um, so I wanted to try, uh, do it my, yourself, like a DIY squishy, and I think it turned out pretty okay. I actually like how it looked, like, because I know squishies can be quite expensive, like, especially in Canada. I noticed the only place that I could find some that I could purchase were from, like, the showcase place, which I showed two of the squishies that I got from there. And I only got two because each is, like, $10 each, and it's pretty pricey. There are some larger ones that go for $20, which is kind of too much money for something that's like it's because i look online for the diy stuff and they're basically made out of like simple either people make them out of liquids which is more of the chemical thing which is more of the chemical way to make them and the easier way is to make them out of sponge so i think if i can make them for cheaper it would be nice to have some and plus since characters like animals are really um i find that because i can't order online they may not have some stuff that i want so i decided to try it out um but this one will be going to bunny lord it's my first ever squishy i kind of wanted to make myself but I don't have a lot of foam. I basically use this foam that I got from some wrapping thing. Um, it's it looks like this. It's a uh, it's not the um it's not like memory foam. It's just regular foam like a sponge. Um, I've seen some people who do DIY. They so mainly use the memory foam because it makes it more slow rising but if you don't mind it not being so slow rising then it's perfectly fine um but as you can see i made a pikachu but as you can see kind of the paint goes through a lot of the pores because the holes are still quite large um the sponge that it's standing on actually has larger holes so i didn't want to use that type of sponge but anyways um i think if you want to go for a cleaner look this type of sponge would be nice if you don't have memory foam this is actually like it's less squishy in a way like you'll see this one's easy to squish eh, there's paint on my finger because it's still drying but anyways like you can see this is not as squishy but it's still squishable um it's a smoother material so there are like no holes in it it's actually a makeup sponge so i think if you want something that is um something that is smoother and you can paint on it better this is the one to go for i got this from walmart but of course i didn't use it because it was a wedge and it's like really small um but i think for like this it turned out pretty good i kind of glued on the ears with white glue but i may go over it with like if i find like a stronger glue to go over um the thing about this though is it's made out of acrylic. I put, I use acrylic paint. So let me just show you guys a bottle. So this is the acrylic paint. It's called America's acrylic favorite acrylic paint, and it's just the uh, Delta. Yeah, it's Delta Creative, and it's a pretty cheap paint like you can find these at walmart and basically i used it for this but i know acrylic paint isn't really movable so when it because um i learned that the fabric paint is normally what people use but fabric paint is quite pricey like you get really tiny bottles smaller than these for a lot of money and they're just too much 
but what I find is fabric paint just is acrylic paint with a more with a movable like malleable um substance in it I forgot what it was called but you can actually get like that stuff and mix it with your acrylic paint so that way it's like fabric paint but anyways I used this paint to paint it and I actually for the details I did not do this but for the whole yellow part I basically watered it down by a lot so I put a lot of water in it um the thing with this type of sponge gel is that because it has a lot of holes in it it tends to absorb the paint so when you want to dry it it needs to dry for a longer period of time because it absorbs most of the paint and sometimes it's hard to paint like as you can see some of the places aren't as even um and uh, the face detailings are hard to paint on like because it absorbs most of it so so that's why the face is a bit messy but I still li how, like how it turned out because it looks like it's homemade and uh here's his tiny tail it's going down I didn't want to add the tail because I don't have a good um glue so it would have fallen apart but yeah and also if you guys use acrylic paint just to let you know when you this foam already it's hard to right with a normal thing like sharpie um if you put acrylic paint over it it becomes it becomes harder to write like i tried to fix the detailings and make them more noticeable like especially the mouth with the sharpie but it was kind of difficult too because the sponge absorbs it because it has so many holes and not only that i noticed like Sharpie on top of acrylic paint that's on a sponge or foam-like texture doesn't really work that well. Um, so I do suggest something like if you're fine with something that's not so squishy like memory foam, this is definitely like a makeup brush. Like a makeup sponge material would be better for you. Um, it's not that squishy but it is soft and comfortable to kind of squish around like I was holding this and I like squishing it but I don't know if they I think they sell these maybe they sell them like bigger chunks you'll have to check I got these from these wedges from Walmart it came out in an entire pack and it was not that expensive so you can get these cheaper foams for like a good deal if you like I know some people who get memory foam they take it out of like a pillow or something that they have bought already and kind of like I feel that oh, pillows aren't that cheap so getting things with memory foam may not be that cheap so if you're looking for like a way to make squishies and you just want to try it out for fun and it's your first time doing it I think like the cheaper option would be to go with these types of materials um also I don't recommend using markers like sharpie on these types of foams with the bigger holes because what happens is they actually um can break the because the break the little pores and it can be broken a little bit so you have to be careful if you want to but yeah that's my pikachu and he's squishy and he's fun but this one it, i will give away to bunny lord because i want to give him a little another gift but yeah i just think that it's a cute idea if you want to give someone like a can they give and they like squishies this would be a nice way but I know there are different ways to make squishies and everyone prefers like using different materials I find that it's easier to use sponge or foam instead of using actual um instead of using like the chemicals like because 
people can, like, I think the professional way is to use the chemicals and make it out of, like, the liquids. But I think those are quite, I look at them, like, you need to be older to use them, and it's quite difficult. Like, you have to mix them with water, and, like, you have to mix them together properly. If you mix the wrong amount, then it gets a bit difficult so it gets a bit technical if you use the chemical stuff um so i recommend if you're like a beginner or just a kid maybe try this out because i it's my first time trying it out too and it turned out pretty cute i really like it and uh i think it's better because like it's a cheaper way to get squishies and it's homemade and you can make like cute little gifts and just give someone this and they'll like it but i do recommend stronger glue because i didn't glue these on properly yet and my white glue isn't that good it's crayola like this this brand it's not that good um maybe elmer's white glue would do better but i've never really bought it Elmer's glue. Um, there's also maybe hot glue. I'm not sure how well that will work, but with any of these handmade things, I tend to try to handle them with care because they can get ruined easily. So just keep in mind, maybe if you give it to someone, just say like, be a little bit careful with the limbs and stuff because they can break off easily because I just glued them on. Um, I'm not sure like what else you can use to stick them on. I know some people when they make their squishies, they actually glue them on with the paint that they have because they have the bottles where you can squeeze it out. And when you squeeze it out, it's a bit thicker. So it's like puffy and I think it gives it more of a grip. But for like my paint it's just by brush so i can't just put a brush because it's too that would be too thin and it wouldn't like stick on so hope you guys enjoyed this video i might make if i get more foam i might make some videos about making them this is my first time trying so i didn't want to make a video and if it was a fail then it wouldn't work and also it takes a while for the paint to dry so the face i had to paint on afterwards and still like you can see it got on my finger it's still a bit wet in some areas and the face i'm avoiding touching it because it is wet too but i hope you guys enjoyed this video just a little fun craft that you guys can do um and some suggestions about the materials i definitely recommend like either this type of sponge if you're going for something like cheaper or this type of makeup sponge which is might have been better because there's no there's smaller holes so it wouldn't fully like absorb all of the paint and then it wouldn't be painted so unevenly but i guess if you wanted to you could coat it like a second time or so so that way it would work properly i just wanted to test it out with like one coat and see how it turned out so yeah bye